Tracks of Smacks UK YouTube channel. Um, just a little, another quick update on the hobby room. It's changed a bit since uh, the last one I've done of these. Um, got rid of uh, quite a few of the cars now and just limited down to a few. So, I'll say a few, I've still got four, five, six, seven now. So, um, I'll take you down here. I've seen this one before, it's my HPI Barger 5SR, it's now got um, ESP 30.5cc full mod in there with a VRC big bore pipe, side pipe, thing goes like stink now and is as loud as hell, makes your ears bleed. Uh, this is my FG Marder, um, now with new green shell, really nice colour green. Uh, it's pretty much stock apart from the, um, you can see that round there, Jet Pro exhaust, wheelie bar, um, a few other alloy bits on it, and and then come up here, this is the Beast, a lot of you know this car, it used to be Dan's, or Norco Forever's, uh, bought this from him, that's got a full mod OBR big bore in there, with another VRC pipe, um, lots of upgrades, Things an animal. So that's that one. I'm just about pan back far enough because it's so big compared to the other large scales. Uh, still up on the wall here. I've got my T Rex 600 Pro EFL Flight Barless Heli. That thing's an animal. That runs on 12S. Um, then the Belt CP2. Our little brushless 3D Heli. And then the the F Light Blade. Um, those of you that watched all my videos, that's the remains of uh, the SU35 Destroyed in Seconds video and the SU35 Destroyed in Seconds again video. So that is there, just hanging on the wall as the trophy. And there's the new SU35. That one flies, no problems now. Just pan down here, it's got a few of the controllers. Uh, that one there was for the trainer plane. That one there is just for the little red blade, sort of indoor uh, sports hall heli, and the DS6, uh, sorry, the DX8. Um, that one there I use for my uh, Watt 4, which is up here. Um, it also flies the 600 T Rex and the SU35. Um, so come down here, it's a computer, <coughs> runs the simulators and uh, goes online and printer and paperwork and all the other good stuff but when you need to look up something to fix RCs small little charging station here for the lipos um, what else we got so another new addition another one from Dan or Norco Forever as you might know him um, this is the Lossy 8TE um, that's running a 220kV motor 150 amp ESC um, an SC8 ESC waterproof uh, and on 4S lipos things an absolute beast it's uh, so well stanced and well behaved so that's that uh, and I've got the tried and trusted now renamed turn you around that way that is Mad Max don't know if you saw the Essex Bashers video we've done uh, this is the one that jumped off the cliff three times um, and survived. Still running on 6S. It's got a 19 kV motor in there. Um, a Monster Mambo ESC. There's the controllers. Got them down there. I think on the last one I had about sort of six or seven controllers. Well, this one now uh, I keep that just powers the Stampede that I've now given to my daughter. Hence why it's uh, gone a bit pink. There's a few pink stickers on there. And this one powers everything else now, so um, yeah, it's a cheap and cheerful, but it does the job. And to be honest, I prefer it a lot more than the uh, Spectrum I used to have. So, yeah, it's got down there, it's my Stampede, and it's got an EVX 2 in there. If you can see that, ESC, it's actually supposed to run two motors, it's out of my Emacs. Um, but now I've just got it running on one motor. I think you can see in there. 
and this is a brushed Titan 550 motor. Again, that's one of the ones that come out of the Emacs originally, uh, and that is running on two 500 milliamp 2S Turnergy hard case lipos. I'm oh, sorry, 500, 5,200 milliamps uh, running on 2S, and they're just wired up in series, not in parallel. Uh, sorry, in parallel, not in series even. Uh, this is my little mad little creation. That is um, Maverick Atom, exactly the same as an RC18 or a Mini Recon HPI one. Uh, all pretty much the same, but that's now running a 5500 brushless combo, um, which would be this one. Ace RC, it's like a Thunder Tiger one, um, really quick, and it's actually running on. 3S LiPo as well. Uh, so yeah, a few bits and bobs for the uh, Dremel. Dremel is like the number one tool. Can't believe I've gone that long without one. Um, there's a solder station. A really like a solder station now. Um, that's really good. There's no problem soldering all them large Turnergy cables. That's my workstation there. And all the tools are now up on the rack. And then just above that, still got quite a few messes of tyres. Bead locks, more tyres, stainless steel uh, rear wing for the mother. More tyres, loads of foams. Um, that's it under here. A few racks of tools. Spare cans of GT85, some Corrosion X, two stroke oils, petrols, uh, cleaning products, all sorts of stuff. Uh, now I've got all the spares from all the other RCs in the black box and everything one fifth scale parts in the blue box. So that's about it. That's the, uh, the man cave. See the man cave rules. Um, thanks for watching Traxxas Max. Oh, nearly forgot actually. Sitting above my head all this time. There's my small little trainer plane. You can see that's had quite a few crashes. Uh, still flies okay, but doesn't really get used much anymore. And also the Watt 4. I've had this thing for I think nearly a year. Uh, never crashed it. Took it out the other day. It was very windy, very sunny. Accidentally flew into the sun and lost sight of it. Sun blinded and. It crashed full speed, nose dive. All it done was broke the cowling, um, broke the blade, and obviously put a few little creases in the foam, and also broke the uh, landing gear off, which I've reattached, and also cracked the wing as well. But I've repaired the wing with hot glue and put some carbon wrap over it. Um, other than that, yep, it's all good. Okay, so thanks for watching Traxxas Match UK, and uh, I'll see you soon.